you're always pleased how it goes. Um, but you know, I wasn't surprised. No, I think we we had a couple of days at it. Um, they looked good at it and as well Monday, Tuesday. The training was good. Um, we'd looked at Tottenham's strengths and weaknesses, and we felt that we could nullify a little bit of their attacks because they're a good side when they go forward. Um, and we obviously wanted to try and hurt them the other way. And I thought first half we we probably created two or three really good opportunities to do that. Um, you know, but I was pleased the way they responded. I was pleased after the the first goal that we conceded how quickly we got ourselves back in the game. And um, you know, overall delighted. You know, I mean. You come in beforehand, you'd think, well, point at White Hart Lane is is something the situation we're in at the moment. But I've never I've never shied the fact that you know there's a good set of players out there, and I think you know the squad wise showed the strength in depth today by making the changes that I did. Was it Saturday's game as well? Was that an inf uh, did that have a bearing on? Absolutely. I mean, I've, I've got to say, you know, less than 48 hours is, is ludicrous. You know, I just for for, for uh, it's it's just I don't understand it. Obviously, you know. The TV, etc., take take a, take preference, but asking players to play less than 48 hours and a quality and, and entertainment, I, I, you know, it's, it, that had some bearing for me today. Um, and obviously, I've got a, a squad of players that are staying down for three days, and we've got 22 out there, and I'm sure that majority of them will be playing a big part in the two games. Where was Shane today? Uh, Shane's got a slight calf problem. He just had a tightening of the calf in training, so you know he we, we, we took him out of the squad. He's, he's down here, and uh, we'll see how he goes for for Saturday. He looked so dangerous in that first half on the counter attack, and some really good chances. If anything, were you slightly disappointed to come in level at half time? Yeah, I think so because you know when you when you do get the odd chance here, um, it's important you try and take it. But having said that, I thought Gira and Vidra were a, a constant thorn. Um, good on the counter attack and. Uh, you know, Matty's a little bit disappointed he didn't take one of the chances, but he's looking like we know him from last year, what we saw at Watford. I think he's now starting to get some confidence and belief in his own performance. And I thought he, uh, him and Vid, uh, him and uh, Gira were, were 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 good. Was there a problem with Amal Fatano? He seemed to be having a bit of an argument with uh, when he came off. No, no, uh, there was a, it was a misunderstanding. I mean, I think there was a, uh, something was said, and uh, he just. He, all emotions, but no, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing personal, nothing like that. We saw your own emotions, Keith, um, just before Spurs goal. You, you didn't seem to think it was a foul. Uh, no, and I've seen it on on the replay. I, I mean, I can I can see a little bit why he's giving it, you know. But I thought that Morrison really sort of had nowhere to go. I thought that Carl Walker had sort of lost, slightly lost control of the ball and trying to retrieve it. And as his momentum's gone forward, I think he's sort of Morrison's probably. I suppose of the nature of the of the kick, I suppose he thinks it's a bit wild. But you know, even Tottenham were were disappointed the fact that he blew up, and they were actually had good possession on the edge of the box. So a little bit disappointed. But you know, I've got to respect the finish. You know, the, the, the Ericsson goal was a top finish. You know, you get the impression that a permanent appointment could be quite close at the club. Uh, well, I hope so, and I hope so for the players' sake. Really, they they they've given myself and Dean everything, and but obviously the. <coughs> The uncertainty is in the back of their mind, and I think you know the the quicker we, we do it, the better. But having said that, you know it has to be the right the right one. So I've always said that I'll be there supporting the best I can until uh, they get the correct one. And, and in fairness, in the last two or three appointments, they've they've got the right one. You Me in, sorry, oh. Me in Spain was suggesting that Pepe Mel might be actually here. Are you? I'm not aware, aware of it. No, no. no. Listen, I, I know that there's a lot of <coughs> speculation going around, but. I, Listen, I really have sort of tried to concentrate on the twenty odd players that have, have come down, and I'm not really, I'm not, you know, so I'm not interested. Of course, I'm interested, but I've got to cut focus on what I'm sure. controlling. Keith, do you know for sure that you've got the team for the weekend? You'll take charge of that game. Uh, as far as I know, yeah, yeah, I'm down here. We've we've planned for the next three three days, two or three days. So yeah, we're 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 ready to go. And as I said before, if if anybody steps in. Then you know I'll gladly support whoever comes in. How are you finding it yourself? It's a different role for you. How are you finding no, I'm enjoying it. I think you know I've got to say the players have been really good. You know, really supportive. Um, <laughs> I've got we've got some good support staff. Um, so listen, I, I didn't want to sit here. I'd rather be Steve Clark. But you know, on the circumstances, you know, the last ten days, you know, the players have been been good. Good result here, Jamie. Oh, just spoke, spoke to you in the last. 24, 48 hours to bring it up to date. No, no, Richard Garlick spoke to Richard Garlick, but you know, the interviewing process is ongoing. Um, just take the team and you know, they'll let me, I'll be the first to know. 
you Good mentioned point. gear Sorry. earlier. Um, was today a big psychological test for him, given the two major injuries he's had pretty much back to back? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's uh, he's, he's gone through an horrific time with his knees, uh, and you know he is a top person in terms of professional, uh, infectious around the place. Um, he is really the ultimate, and it's great to have him back in the squad. And you saw today, he's a quality player, and I think you know for himself, he had to get that sort of that game time. Uh, and he's proved that he's he's back on full speed.